It's disgusting. I know what's happening over there. I've Have you seen, seen that? I don't need to tell you about the, the, the parts of my history that I'm not prepared to share, Piers. You've, seen, you've seen people... I said with... it to Ben. I said people who have done their own fighting and seen their own violence and have seen people bleed out in the street from a stab wound are not going to be so, so smart and so quick to sit behind a desk and call for the death of innocent people. It's disgusting what's happening. I don't want anyone to die on either side. And when I come along as a peacemaker and say, this is insane, because he's a warmonger, because he has chosen uh, blinkers and sees one side of the argument and refuses to accept the humanity of Palestinians, he says I'm a bad person for calling for peace. Well, you know why? Because he'll probably listen to this interview and say, this guy can't even describe Hamas as terrorists. If Ben Shapiro thinks bad of And him, if you don't think what happened to the people in Israel on October the 7th is an act of terrorism... Did I not just say, then you are, I want all people then you to are just dying. you are just as partisan to one side as you believe Ben Shapiro Did is I to the other. Did I not just say, I want all people to start dying? Stop dying. Pierce, don't interrupt this. It's two sentences. I want all people to stop dying. However, I understand what is going to happen when you create a pressure cooker. That is, my, that is my answer, and it's extremely professional. I don't want anyone to die, and because I don't want anyone to die, because I'm a peacemaker, because I'm a humanist, I understand you cannot lock people in an open-air prison for an undetermined period of time without provoking terrorism. So out of interest, what would you have done if you'd been Israel after October the 7th? That's a really interesting question, and I think there's people who are more qualified than me to answer. Given that Hamas last week said, we're going to try and do the same thing again and yeah. again and again, what would you do to defend the people of Israel? Good question. They have the Iron Dome, which is largely effective. I think that their border security is usually effective.